Today, I'm gonna be attaching this gas pipe. I passed my air test. Let's open the valve. It's been holding about nine pounds of pressure. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. Let's see, focus. Okay. But right now I'm at nine PSI. That might make it easier. Little under. So now I can drop my air test and make this connection, tie it into my machine. So to make a good gas connection, I'm going to be changing these nipples here. Both of them are going to be replaced because unfortunately this doesn't line up. Okay, so that's off. Now, I don't care about the air that's in here behind this, so I'm going to take this whole piece off, because this is useless to me right now, unless is that the same size as that, no, it's not the same size as anything I'm using, so, nope, so I'm not going to reuse it, let me close the valve, I don't want to chew my brass valve up. Close this down. I want my pipe wrench to go on it. This is just to hold back. And we're coming off. Take this off the rest of the way by hand once you get it a little loose. We always valve these when we do the install because the gauge leaks most of the time. So this way we're not screwing around with the leaky gauge when the inspector comes. Now let me take the valve off. I want to reuse this valve. So I'm using this tool only because I don't like to scratch up. And if I take it apart not on here then what happens is it's harder to get it apart. At least here, this makes up for not having a vise right here, because I got this to hold it. Take that off. Now air is gonna come out. Let the air out from the test. Now take this last piece off. I don't need to hold that back, because there's no way this is gonna turn. So. She's been wearing them the whole time, but all right. So now I'm gonna need my pipe dope next to me. I'm gonna use this. I usually prefer just to use a proto, and I'm sitting on my wrench, and I'm wondering why it's a little uncomfortable. I like to use some proto, but it's not in my truck. I ran out. I used too much of it, so now I'm going to use this stuff. It still works. This is Mega Lock. It's not bad. As long as it makes a seal, that's all I care about. As far as doing this, everybody has a different opinion about this, about the flare of a face. But the right way to do it is to never put any sealant on this fitting. This side. This side needs sealant because that's regular thread. So this is going to go onto the pipe to here, but you'll never get that connection that way. So what you want to do is with your pipe dope, make sure your threads are clean, and then put it into your threads. You really don't need the first thread to have dope on it. I like to use dope. I have no problem if I waste a little bit by putting a little too much on. Some people are like, you use way too much. Maybe. But I don't have leaks. Isn't that the most important part of doing something? Is not to have leaks. Not that you use too much or anything like that. Always make sure your threads and everything on the inside are clean. 
and I'm going to want this to go this way so that I can pull the handle this way. It's also harder for somebody to hit the handle and send it in this way. Or for both directions, but now let's put some more dope on it. And I'm going to leave the first thread bare because I'm going to show you when I leak check this that it's going to seal because what happens is it's going to start threading in. They're tapered, so the threads actually seal it. The dope helps a little bit, but it's the threads that are actually making the sealing as they kind of go into each other. So you're going to just start it off. But you got to keep it level or else it'll never start but okay there we go all right that's good for now now with this it's going to make the rest of the trip over to here with a coupling of course but put that there when it gets sent in It'll be able to do it because I still got to send the whole thing in. So just make sure you're pushing it into the threads. In reality, is you really don't need a bolt load of it. I went a little too high on it. I don't care. But as long as it's in the thread, it's good. Let me take a little off the brush. Because I will be leak searching this once I got it done. Because you always want to make sure you have no leaks outside. It's really nothing's going to ever happen. But just to protect yourself, you want to make sure you got no leaks. There's that. Okay, let's put this here. See, there's no union on a, this gas line. At least not an official black pipe union. It's because of this. As you can see, it's a little too long right now. But I'm fine with that. Let's put a little bit of dope on the back end. Never put it inside the pipe, just on the outside. And this fitting, you could do either the outside or the inside. So it could do either half inch or three quarter. But you gotta make sure with the machine you're working on or whatever you're working on, you can get enough BTUs of gas to your machine. Whenever it comes to these fittings, like I said, I prefer not to bite them up with tools with teeth. This is an adjustable wrench pliers. So let me get it going, and as you see, everything is going to turn and spin in. Now, what you're going to have to do when you get to a certain point with these is you're going to want it to be in a certain spot at that point. You're going to have to hold back and keep it in that place. Okay. So now I'm going to have to switch to regular wrenches. This should be tight right here, this connection. I'm going to first, because the whole thing is rotating right now. You go to the next fitting and start sending this in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leak search this spot. Okay. All right. So that's good. Now I'm going to right here. Very quickly. And the thing is with this, with piping, you're not looking. That's good. You're not looking to kill it and make it so tight that the threads, especially with brass, your threads will go right in to the inside of your bout. So I actually think that's tight enough. Valve's on top like I want. No reason to keep going. Now to make the final connection. And like I said, I don't believe in putting anything here. What you could use is like a thread lock seal or something on the actual thread piece not for the seal the face right here of the flange as it goes into here is going to make the seal 
it's a flare fitting and that will make the seal so now they prefer this pipe to be straight not to have bends or kinks or anything really in it so if you have a little bit of a bend so be it but they want it and if I show you it is long enough some people are gonna say that's too tight but look it comes over the top it's definitely long enough so now this part needs no sealant and just tighten it in at this point I recommend the whole back wrench once this gets tight by hand so you're not turning both of these I mean you're not turning this anymore and you're making this valve go somewhere you don't want it even though if it's on the side it's still gonna work perfectly fine but you still don't want to be doing that let's see if it's sealed let's spray it up first so this way it'll be bubbling up when I get back out here so so it makes it easier to wipe the dope off Gas is on. Anything bubbling away. I usually want this as a liquid, no bubbles in it because it makes it harder to tell. Because when it leaks, it's going to foam up. Alright, so I cleaned it up a lot these fittings I took most of the excess dope off as you can see I don't want a lot of excess I'm even going to clean it out of the threads because it's hard to paint it over the dope as you see they painted this over the dope but what happens is these are going to the paint's going to crack off it's just going to come off the dope doesn't give it a good seal so with it like this Spray it up. Make sure there's no leaks. Even my valve, there's a seam right here. Make sure it gets all around my fitting. It's gonna leak, it's gonna leak. Yeah, I hate when it comes out all foamy. When it comes out foamy, it's harder to see if there's a leak. So I just knock it off with some liquid. And even this, I mean, that should be sealed. And even spray the existing stuff to make sure. Because that hasn't been pressurized yet. And I didn't spin that together. So far, let's see anything. I can't really sit down anymore on this job. Let's move everything. And then yield down some closer. This ground is just so soggy that I chose the bucket would be easier. Alright. So, I'm not seeing anything bubble up. But like I said, from here over I didn't do, so I always just double check. But I verified I have no bubbles. I have a tight seal. See, there's not a lot of dope on the outside. The dope on the outside does nothing. The seal is in the threads. It lubricates the pipe as you're spinning it on. But it's good. Half open, full open, it doesn't matter. It still allows gas through. But that's good. So that's how to properly seal up a gas pipe and to make sure that it reaches. This is like an appliance fitting. Remember, all flares never need anything on the face. Some guys believe it does. 
I've had so many flares I've done, I've never leaked. Not needed. It wasn't designed for sealant to go in here. As you see, I have the spray on it. Nothing is bubbling or foaming. Is that a bubble or settlement? Hard to tell sometimes. So I'm just going to respray right there. Come back and look once I. Yeah, so. Now nah, it was just settlement. So. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe to my channel. Till next time, I'm Bill and I'm out. Not like anybody, most people have probably shut this video off already. Probably gonna take two or two cranks or three to start. Good. Is that cool, Tracking? You're the